Hi, I'm Lisa Coffey from Coffee Talk. We're at Gate. Tonight, I got a chance to talk to some amazing movie stars, including Sally Kirkland. Here's what she had to say about transformational entertainment. So this event is all about transformational entertainment. Yeah. What does that mean to you, transformational entertainment? Well, I was pronounced dead as a kid, and I had a life after life experience. And very shortly after that, I got involved with yoga. And a man named Swami Sachidananda and I taught yoga on the Merv Griffin Show and the David Susskind Show. And then in the 90s, I taught Oprah on her show. And she allowed me to chant Sanskrit. And I've been on a spiritual path since 69. And I've always wanted to do transformational films, you know, and do films that raise consciousness. I finally got to do at least two, Spiritual Warriors and The Way Shower. And uh, I just think it's great that what Gates doing is bringing together people like Eddie Almos and Jim Carrey. Well, Jim Carrey is one of the founders, Eckhart Tolle and um, Gene Houston and Barbara Marks Hubbard. It's really thrilling to hear what they have to say tonight and to hope that this is the first of many events like this. But I think when people come here tonight, it shows that they're looking for the light rather than the dark. And they're looking to be able to be part of the transformational consciousness, the global I mean, if all of the filmmakers from all over the world came together and made films to raise consciousness, we would have peace in the world. I've had a longing and a loving for uh, awareness, growth my whole life. So although my outer focus was acting, my inner focus has been transformation. So now to be involved in this, where there's the outer and the inner sort of converging, where consciousness can be applied to the content of a project, uh, we're the ones that carry it. So the more we're aware and the more we're growing and learning, the more we'll bring it to bear on whatever it is that we do. I, I really love all the different ways there can be entertainment. I, I think a lot of it is glorious and wonderful. I think just bringing it up a notch and yet again another notch to where uh, all these people here who many of them I'm sure have been in love with some kind of a spiritual life for a long time but now can begin to know each other, work together, support each other and maybe come up with all kinds of new content that is even more entertaining, even more inspiring and more conscious. So this is, event is about transformational entertainment. What does that mean to you? For me, it means telling stories that show us that change is possible, that show us that we have the ability to meet our full potential, and that give us hope in possibility. That's excellent. That's a great definition. How do you think we can get more of this? Because it seems like in the entertainment world, we're a little out of balance. I think it takes those of us in the audience to support that process because people will make movies that that people sit in the audience and watch and love and write about and share with their friends and so they buy tickets to go see buy tickets to go see so I think it takes us buying tickets it's like we get to drive what we want to see what we want to participate in and so we as consumers we as the public need to participate in the type of entertainment we want to see and I know you wrote this theme song for tonight and and how were you inspired to write that what came to you? Well, we had a, a, a lunch with John, and John is just amazingly inspirational. His presence, his being, he's so joyful. And he was telling me about this event, telling me what it was called. Um, the theme of it was only a new seed can yield a new crop. And then he invited me to, to possibly run with that and make a song. And it was interesting, even before he said it, as soon as I heard that, melody started flowing, and I felt a stirring. And a lot of times before the lyrics and melody come through, I kind of feel the song. So I walk around with the essence of the song for a while. So that happened. And then when I was driving back from Ojai on the Pacific Coast, the song just poured through the lyrics and the melody. And it felt really delicious. I sent it to John and he said yes. He loved it. And so I'm very honored. Very honored.